Grants, Mayor, Council Flores, the grants pass case is, is really apples to oranges with this. I mean, essentially it would be same as legalizing shoplifting um, because somebody's homeless. It's, it's theft we're talking about, it's larceny. So, thank you. Uh, excuse me, Chief. In both cases, the end result is incarceration, the potential for incarceration. So irrespective of, irrespective of the quote crime misdemeanor or whatever, um, there is a difference. Uh, there, there is a difference, but not in the outcome, not in how it's going to affect a, a person. And that's my point. I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody likes the blight, but then, you know, if we don't like the problem, we should all work to uh, come up with a good solution. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Councilor Curran. Um, thank you, Chief, for your presentation. I'm curious on the one that you highlighted, if one of these was among those charges, how would it be different? If one of these, I'm sorry, Mayor, Councilor Curran. If a citation for panhandling or having a cart were among the, the things that were on the list of the person that you highlighted at the beginning, how would the outcomes be different? They wouldn't necessarily be different, but they ultimately, hopefully, will be an opportunity to plug those people into services. Any of those petty misdemeanors would be an opportunity to plug them into services. But at the same time, my point before is as soon as we excuse it all together, a crime, and theft is a crime, and I, I'm not sure anybody's arguing that theft's not a crime, then we compromise the whole system. I can't control, obviously, what happens after the fact, but we clearly have breakdowns at many levels in our New Mexico criminal justice system. But from where I'm, I'm sitting, that doesn't mean that we don't do our part, I don't do my part, to try to address the issues where I can. Thank you, I appreciate your input. Oh, please, if you could hold it down.